Battalion Chief Rich, Rich Owens, Owens. Yes. with Riverside County Gun. Yes. Okay, uh, what can you tell us, please? Okay, we were dispatched around uh, 1218 this afternoon for a reported traffic collision into either a cell tower or a crane. Uh, at, uh, so two units from the Riverside County uh, Fire Department arrived on scene at about 1230 this afternoon and found uh, an airplane collided with a cell tower. Uh, upon uh, further investigation, we found one moderate injured patient that was uh, ejected from the aircraft and uh, was treated and transported by ground ambulance to a local area hospital. Uh, the second victim within the crash had perished at scene and still remains in the wreckage at this time. Uh, Chief, is, is the person that perished the, the pilot? Uh, it's unknown at this time uh, if it was the pilot or a passenger within the aircraft. And as far as the person who survived, uh, the neighbor said it was a female and can you give us any insight into the injuries? The only thing we know that if the injuries were moderate, uh, the patient was talking when transported to the hospital, was not able to provide any details of the accident, uh, but it was an adult female and was transported to a local area. Can I ask you, was she moving when you transported her? She was uh, coherent, but not moving on under her own. Uh, what did it appear to you? Uh, first of all, it looks like the uh, pilot, whoever it was, navigated through some lines to get there, right? It's, it's undetermined at this time. FAA and the NTSB are in route with representatives to determine the cause of the accident. And you said that the, the well, we know it's a woman, was ejected. Um, she didn't fall far. It looks like the, the, the wreck happened at ground level almost. She was near the, the wreckage at the time she was found by fire department personnel. It's unknown how and, and how far she would have fell from the, from the aircraft. Okay. Um, moderate injuries, so expected to live and that's as far as we know yes the, the aircraft is on the ground it was not suspended it's it's uh, when it made contact with the cell tower it was at the base of the cell tower it's it's not suspended so there is no uh, difference between the height of the aircraft to the ground or the ground. Well, thank you. Here to you uh, and I realize you're not with the FAA or NTSB but does it appear to you it's a homemade plane? It's undetermined at this time they're they're working on that now to try to find who the owner is and the area in which the airplane came from before it made its collision with the cell tower. Any idea when the corner will be? Yeah, it's undetermined. Okay. Uh, so with